on, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Level M Diecast. More Mage Red action on tap today. We are wrapping up the last of our most recent haul, getting the rest of this up on the channel for you guys. This is the quote unquote standard version of the 60th anniversary uh, release from Majorette for this year. Six car set here, as well as the five pack. Some cars in the five pack, not in single pack, some in single, not in five pack. So if you want to get the whole uh, kid and caboodle, uh, so to speak, from it. You do have to get both of them. Uh, we're going to crack open the five-pack, whatever singles happen to be in the five-pack. We will just leave those carded. There are many, many new castings here. Uh, so we're going to just get right into this first one here. This is the five-pack that does retail for $40 uh, Australian. That is uh, Australian dollars there. I did get this from Australia. Uh, this was, it's about $27-ish U.S., um, which is significantly more expensive for the few five packs we do get here in the U.S. Uh, we spend 15 bucks uh, for a five pack between 15 and 20, uh, depending on retailer, but mostly 15 bucks. So uh, significantly more expensive than normal. But um, this one, as of the time of this video, uh, is not available for the U.S. market. Uh, and then it just does have the models on the back there. So it does show that they all have a moving feature. Which I call this line standard, but really it shouldn't be because it should be premium. Um, not deluxe, but premium because 99% of them do have moving features. As a matter of fact, I think the only thing that doesn't have a moving feature is the Citroen uh, HY right there. Pretty standard fare here. They are attached with the rubber bands. Uh, we will just go ahead and do this uh, real quick in real time. We'll get these models cracked off of there. Um, the rubber bands on there it's not that big a deal um, i just want to get them rolling through we like to do things here in real time uh kind of go through the whole process of what you guys are really going to go through if you pick this up there's a little uh display of a city in the background right there that is uh france i believe i do believe that is a scenic view of france because that's where major it started was in france so let's see if we can get some of these rubber bands off real quick Pretty straightforward. There we go. I like when they uh, they do cooperate a little bit. Sometimes they uh, don't cooperate, but uh, sometimes they do. I'll just get those off of there super fast. I think this is way faster than trying to untangle them and do all that kind of stuff like that. Um, I just think this is a much, much more effective use of effort. All right. So we'll throw these out there. We're going to go ahead and start with this guy here. This is the 80s Corvette. This is the C4 Corvette, which is pretty cool. This was a new casting. Uh, basically last year, early last year, uh, we did get this in a couple flavors in the U.S. There was a premium, or deluxe I should say, with rubber tires. Then there was the regular release in just red. The cool thing about these, and I want to point these out as we go through these, so each one of these has a specific era of logo for Majorette. So most of them are going to be kind of period correct to where the years are as far as the model is concerned um, to match up. So like, for instance, this one here, uh, this is 80s Majorette. So you'll see that that logo does coincide with the 80s Majorette uh, you know, brand logo they had during that time. And I think that is one of the coolest marketing things ever. Um, I never even realized it until just a little while ago when I really started to pay attention to these models. I was like, you know what, they uh, they have different logos, and actually, you know what, they they coincide for the years. So this one does have an opening hood on the front. There is your uh, Corvette V8 down in there, it looks pretty good. Of course, this one does have suspension, it has pretty big wheels though, so you don't see a whole lot of wheel movement to this one. There is the base Dietz, happens to be 159th scale, but that is the uh, kind of late 80s, kind of late 80s uh, deco. Uh, for Majorette, which is actually pretty cool. I think even in maybe a little bit in the early 90s. So that one is still pretty cool. So you see there is also that one in the single pack. This is a new casting uh, for the Citroen DS. There is the deets there on the bottom. 159th scale on this one. This one does also have a new wheel, which that wheel looks absolutely fantastic. Just a disc hub wheel, very similar to what Matchbox has, but uh, more appropriately, realistically uh, sized as far as the width and stuff. See, the Citroen does have that very inset uh, rear axle, which is very, very cool looking. So this one being uh, 60s, you know, 1960s era, 
There is your 1960s era Majorette logo, which is just pretty basic. Just a bunch of yellow with the word Majorette. Looks pretty boring, actually. But uh, I think it was probably eye-catching enough. I mean, obviously, this brand has made it 60 years, so that's a good thing. Uh, lens headlights as normal for these models. Again, suspension as normal. This guy does have opening doors, which is super cool. So get those doors open, see if there's any detail on the inside of the door panel. There's a little bit of detail on the inside of the door panels. Not a whole lot, but there is some. This one is left-hand drive, which is weird. Um, I really feel like they should have made that right-hand drive. But uh, they made a left-hand drive, which is it's just kind of interesting. Uh, this is a pretty big casting, so... This is definitely, um, I know it says it's 159 scale, but it feels bigger than that. Um, it feels maybe like maybe 155th scale almost. Um, it's it's pretty big. I mean, it's a really big casting. I mean, when you look at that Citroen sitting next to the Corvette, it's it's quite, quite dramatic in the difference. All right, moving into our Volvo. Uh, this one is also a new casting. This is your uh, 240 GL. Uh, this one is super cool. I'm very uh, bummed out that they didn't make this an opening hatch. I feel like the opening hatch would have been you know, much much more appropriately uh, set in there. Um, this one looks to be maybe early 80s, maybe. So I'm not sure exactly what the deco. I, the deco is not familiar to me um, as far as like the color scheme. But um, maybe this was uh, maybe this was 80s, maybe-ish, maybe... -ish, maybe Maybe 70s, no. We'll try to put these in order in the way I think they go, because I think that might be a little bit interesting. But anyways, this is the new casting for the 240. It does have lens headlights. Those big, huge square headlights looks good. The Volvo logo there in the grill looks pretty good. Of course, it does have suspension, as you'd expect. Pretty nice suspension to two. Uh, this one has opening doors as well. I think opening doors is kind of bland. Matchbox is notorious for that, too. Um, I really feel like they should put a little bit more effort into the model. Like this one, I think being a wagon, I think having an opening hatch would be much more appropriate than just open doors. But uh, I'm just happy we got a new Volvo. This thing is super, super cool. So I know some Volvo guys, and uh, they'll probably be pretty happy about this casting. This one looks all right. It's also 159th scale, so they claim that it is scaled to the DS, but that DS is extremely wide, so... I don't think it's scaled to the DS. Not at all. All right, next one from that pack. This is also a new casting. You know, Majorette is jumping into the whole, uh, you know, German or German, uh, Japan thing, uh, JDM and stuff like that. They're starting to do way more. 260Z, this one is a 153rd scale. does have those nice three-spoke knockoffs. It says Majorette leads the parade. So this is uh, mid-70s uh, Datsun. So, kind of gives you an idea where the logo is. It's it's pretty straightforward. There's a little bit of extra stuff on there. It says Metal Collector's Cars. Majorette leads the parade. Front end looks pretty good. Of course, the lens headlights are perfect for this casting. This is a casting I feel like should have had an opening hood. I think the opening hood would have been the good feature for this one. But again, they have just opening doors. It's a relatively large casting. The doors are enormously wide. I mean, they open just enormously wide. There's pretty much no casting detail on the inside of the doors for this one. But the doors open extremely wide. This casting looks pretty good. Does have a print for the taillights in the back. Hook assembly model on that one. And then it has your little uh, Datsun 260Z there on the uh, trunk lid. Or the hatch lid. So, again, they use really big wheels, so... You really don't get a whole lot of the suspension detail. So 60s, 70s, maybe that's 80s, maybe this is 90s. And that's probably 90s. I'm pretty sure that's 90s. Uh, and then, of course, your more uh, current, your current Majorette logo. This is the newest one. Of course, based on a casting that's only uh, about three or four years old. A little bit more rubber band in there. Uh, this is the Alfa Romero Quadrofilio, or Giglio G. Julia Quadrofilio. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, forgive me. I am uh, in the U.S. I don't have an Italian accent. Uh, this one looks pretty good, though. Uh, a little bit of, like, DNA hexagons back there. Just says Mage Red on it. Nice black hood on there. Of course, the lensed headlights. There is print on the inset for the grill, which is pretty nice. 
And then there is your Alfa Romero logo. So they do put a lot of uh, effort into the prints. There are taillight prints on there. There is actual other color print for red, which looks good. And again, another one of those prints on the back. This is Alpha, and then your Julia there on the side. Again, another hook assembly model. So, not sure how they get away with those. Supposedly, you're not supposed to sell hook assembly models in the U.S. We have gotten this casting uh, many times here in the U.S. already. Uh, this one happens to be 160th scale. So, getting a little bit closer up there. This one is ridiculous suspension in the back. Um, even when they use big wheels because that actually goes into the wheel well. Looks good. Uh, opening doors on this one, again, again, just pretty straightforward. This one's fine, though. It's just a normal sedan, so opening doors is fine. Quite a bit of detail on the inside of the door panels, which is always good. I like when they put in that little bit of effort in there, which is pretty nice. All right, we're going to kick over to our HY. This one is not in the 5-pack. This is also a new casting. Uh, this is the one that I say is, you know, this is why it's not full premium. Uh, because this guy, at least I don't think he's got a moving feature. I guess we'll find out. He might have a moving feature. This is a new casting. This does use that new disc hub wheel. Um, this thing is enormous. I mean, it is super, super wide. It's huge. I mean, this casting is huge. Nice red print on the top. This has the same era of print as the uh, DS does, which looks pretty good. Your Citroen symbol on the front, a little bit of print for the headlights. Not lensed headlights on this one, but I think that is forgivable uh, based on the way that the uh, casting really is. Oh, look at that. It does have a moving feature. Look at that. A little food service truck. So there's like a grill right here. Cash registers right there. I know it's super, super hard to see in there to get some light in there, but that actually looks pretty cool. That's pretty neat. I didn't think that it would have a moving feature which is pretty cool. And this one is uh, correctly left-hand drive, which I think is cool. Uh, this should be a relatively off-scale. See, 1 60th scale. There's just no way. There's no way. There's no way that that HY and that uh, Alpha are the same scale. There's no way. I don't buy it for one bit. All right. Volvo 240 Estate. We uh, already saw that one, but that one does come in the single pack. Let's leave that in the back. Also, the Alpha and the Corvette, but not the uh, the uh, FJ Cruiser here. So you see this FJ Cruiser is yet a different logo. We have not seen that logo just yet. So we're going to go ahead and crack this one open. The FJ's a pretty cool casting. They've done a couple of series with FJ's as well. I do like this newer off-road wheel they have. This guy does have suspension, although um, I guess he doesn't have suspension at all. Look at that. No suspension. I guess it's just me pushing the axles. So, no suspension on this one. Let's see if he's got the scale on there. This one says it's 164 scale. It says it's actually 164 scale. But FJ on the uh, tire cover in the back looks good. Does have a tow hitch as well. I do like that off-road wheel. Looks good. They can always paint up that beadlock wheel. No moving features for this one. This guy has no opening features, no moving features, no nothing. So I did not expect that. I thought for sure all of them would have a moving feature, but unfortunately this one does not. There is the logo on the top and does say Toyota there in the front. So this must be, this must be like, let's see here. Let's push these guys down. Maybe this one, try to remember logos, guys. I, I'll be honest with you, I kind of don't remember the logos. These two might be switched. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure they're switched. So I'm pretty sure that's the direction they go. Of course, this guy actually goes with the, the Citroen down at the other side. But I'm trying to keep them in, in order here because I just think that that's kind of interesting. All right, next one up. This one is also in single pack, not in the five pack. Just single pack. Brand new casting Mercedes-Benz 450 SEL. This one looks pretty good. This one is also going to... Uh, follow the same lines as some of the other ones we've already looked at as far as deco goes see that detail on the side exactly the same as the Datsun. this is a pretty cool casting this one does have suspension it's a premium model the bumpers are added on pieces you see the interior is black so those two bumpers are added on i think they would look much better if that was chrome but uh it still looks good lensed headlights on there there is your uh, Mercedes logo right there, although there's not actually a logo on it. It's just a circle, which is interesting. It's interesting they don't put the uh, 
three star on there, but uh, three pointed star. Whoops, sorry about that. There we go. 450 SEL there on the trunk. And then, of course, your three point star in the back. Tail lights are just printed up. Looks pretty good, though. The interior is ridiculously detailed for the plastic. Um, I know it's kind of hard to get details or uh, lighting in there to see that, but I assure you the, the interior detail is bonkers. Uh, as far as the door panels go, there's pretty much zero detail to the inside door panels, but that's all right. It is what it is. There is your base deets, 161 scale. So each one of these, kind of their own scale. I mean, Majorette's starting to do a lot of that stuff where it's kind of being built to the size of the blister, um, which is fine. I mean, Tomica's been building to the size of the box and stuff like that, so it's nothing new. Um, I just feel like it's um, it's a little bit hard to get them to match up with other models um, in the mix. So when you're actually trying to build a city or you're trying to make something look fancy like that, it's just a little bit of a bummer. So... There you go. That is the 60th anniversary line from Majorette. Uh, the premium, we'll call it premium. It's standard premium. Can't, I don't know if you can be standard and premium at the same time. But anyways, there you go. There is a uh, slew of eight models released. And uh, that does complete what we have for the Majorette. So if you guys haven't checked anything out, definitely check that Majorette playlist out. Check out all the other stuff we picked up. Until then, we're going to roll out. Appreciate every single one of you. Don't forget to subscribe. As always, live in that cast. Peace.